Today we have a game between Cedrus, the Traitor King, Nekuzar, the Mind Raiser, Skullbriar, the Walking Grave, and Verizol, the Split Current. Cedrus starts with an island, Is It Boilerworks, Evolving Wilds, Faithless Looting, Tribute Mage, Magus of the Wheel, and Mold Drifter. Nekuzar opens with Swamp, Watery Grave, Crumbling Necropolis, Terramorphic Expanse, Waste Not, his own Magus of the Wheel, and Niv Mizzet, Firemind. Skullbriar has three swamps Hot Soup, Hardened Scales, Golgari Signet, and Key to the City. Lastly, Verizol keeps a forest, Evolving Wilds, Lanoir Elves, Vines of Vastwood, Growth Spiral, Counterspell, and Encryption of Insight. Cedrus wins the die roll and starts the game. Turn 1. Cedrus plays an Evolving Wild and cracks it for a Swamp. Passing turn. Nekazar plays a Crumbling Necropolis and passes. Skullbriar plays a Swamp and brings out a big ol' bowl of hot soup and passes. Verizol plays a Forest and summons Lanoir Elves and passes. Turn 2. Cedrus plays Is It Boilerworks, sending Swamp back to his hand and passes. Nexar plays a Terramorphic Expanse and passes a Kraxi for a Mountain. Skullbriar plays another Swamp and taps both for Golgari Signet and passes. Verizol plays an island and brings out Growth Spiral, bringing an Evolving Wild to the board. Evolving Wild is cracked for an island. He then turns Lanoir Elves sideways at Skullbriar and passes. Turn 3. Cedrus plays a Swamp and taps out for a Mole Drifter and passes. Nexar plays Watery Grave and taps out for Waste Knot and passes. Next we see Walking Grave come to the field and swing at Cedrus for 1, getting a plus 1 plus 1 counter. He then brings out another Swamp to pay for a Prowler's Helm and passes. Verizol taps 2 for Vine Gecko, then plays a Forest to bring out Split Current as a 2 2 and passes. Turn 4. Cedrus plays a Mountain and summons the Saddest Robot to bring a Swamp to the field and passes. Nexar gets out a Swamp to summon Magus of the Wheel and passes. Skullbriar tries to play a Canopy Cover, but Verizol doesn't like the sound of a hex crew Fultron, so places Vines of Vastwood on the stack, targeting Walking Grave, causing Canopy Cover to fizzle. Skullbriar taps his last two mana for a key to the city and passes. Verizol attaches Hadana's Climb to Vine Gecko, then moves combat and swings at Skullbriar with the Gecko and Split Current and passes. Turn 5. Cedrus plays an island for turn. Then plays Faithless Looting, discarding a Tribute Mage and Swamp, getting Nekuzar a Zombie from Wasteland. He then plays Forbidden Alchemy, and discards Body Double, Kozilek, and Chainer Nightmare Adept. Nekuzar forgets the Wasteland trigger. Cedrus ends by playing Sundial of the Infinite and passes. 
Nekazar plays a swamp, and Dark Ritual. Using that mana to play the Mind Razor. And sacrifices Magus of the Wheel to get the table to discard their hand and draw 7, taking 7 damage. Waste not nets 1 zombie, 6 draws, and 6 black mana, but Nekazar mistakenly thinks he only got 3 black mana and uses it to play a Talisman of Creativity and Talisman of Indulgence and passes. Skullbriar draws 2 and takes 2, but demands respect and attaches Alpha Authority to the Walking Grave. He then plays a Tainted Wood for land, discards Read the Bones to tap Key to the City, giving Walking Grave unblockable, then sends three more commander damage to Cedrus's way and passes. Verzol draws two and takes two. Then taps out to play Grow from the Ashes for his kicker cost, removing two counters from the split current to copy it, gaining an island and three forest. Then resummons split current as a 4 4. Vine Gecko gets counter on it from Grow to the Ashes and a Hedonis Climb after moving to combat, which transforms it into a land. Vine Gecko then attacks the Dispenseless Skullbriar. Turn 6. Cedrus draws two and takes two, then plays an island and pays full price to normal summon Scholar of the Lost Trove. Playing Zombify from the graveyard. This brings back Body Double as a copy of Kozilek, using the actual Kozilek as a temporary token to avoid confusion and passes. Before the end of Cedrus's turn, Skullbriar plays Beast Within on Nekuzar, targeting the Mind Reaser. Nekuzar accidentally draws two cards for turn, then plays Command Tower. Command Sphere. Chromatic Lantern. And Nightscape Familiar, proving that you don't need to be green to ramp. He then tries to play Propaganda, but Cedrus discards Windfall to counter it with Kozilek's ability, so he passes. Skullbriar forgets to pay 2 for Key to the City and draws 2 cards anyway, then taps 6 mana to play and equip a Loxodon Warhammer. A Swamp is then discarded to give Skullbriar unblockable and ram Cedrus again, healing for 6 and passing. Therizal plays Forest, then kicks a Thieving Skydiver for 3, taking down the Split Current to copy and steal Skullbriar's Power Helm, who wasn't using it anyway. And Nekuzar's Chromatic Lantern. Not wanting the lifesteal to get out of hand, he plays Beast Within on the Warhammer. Then kicks Reclaim the Waste to get an unnecessary amount of lands to the hand. He then swings at Skullbriar with a beefy 7-7 Gecko. Turn 7. Cedrus plays a Swamp for turn, then taps 2 to bring out Sish together. This brings out the actual Kozilek.
Then the Traitor King is finally able to join the ring. Body Double and Scholar of the Lost Trove swing at Skullbriar. We don't realize that Kozilek has Menace and allow Skullbriar to block with the 3-3 Beast. Cedrus passes. Nekuzar pays the heavy cost to bring Mindraiser back to the field, but Cedrus discards Shriekmaw to counter it with Kozilek's ability. Disappointed, he just tries to bring out Jace's Arc of it, but in what seems like blatant bullying, Cedrus discards another card to counter that as well. At least he gets two zombies out of it. Cedrus misdirects his frustration at Skullbriar, swinging with everyone, bringing him down to six. Skullbriar plays a forest for turn and Whining Constrictor, then gives Walking Grave a pot of hot soup and passes. While reviewing the video, I noticed this 15 seconds of audio silence, so I'd like to take this time to apologize for my artistic choice of leaving in everyone's on tap step. Ferrazol plays a forest and summons Rishkar Pima Renegade, putting a counter on itself and thieving Skydiver. Then brings out Split Current, threatening lethal commander damage paired with Winged Temple of Borazaz and passes. Turn 8. Cedrus plays an island and uses Traitor King's ability to bring out Shriek Maw, destroying the Split Current. He uses Traitor King's ability again to get out Chainer Nightmare Adept, then uses Chainer's ability to discard Demon of Dark Skies. And plays Animate Dead to bring him out, killing almost half the board. Drawing a card for Solemn Simulacrum, then accidentally putting Chainer and Shriekmon into the graveyard instead of the Exile. Seeing the opportunity, he swings a Skullbriar for lethal, but knowing that it'll take all three of them to beat Cedrus, Nekuzar plays Darkness to save him. Cedrus taps Sundial to end the turn just because he can. Nekuzar draws for turn and plays Soul Ring and Dire Reach Sanitarium for land. Then hesitantly attempts to summon Mind Razor again and passes. Skullbriar draws two and takes two. Then attaches a Rancor to the Walking Grave. And attacks Cedrus. Cedrus chooses not to block with and Skullbriar reacts with unexpected fangs, giving Skullbriar plus one, plus one, and lifelink to start getting back some much-needed health and pass. Verizol draws two and takes two, plays a forest, and brings out a 12-12 Verizol again, giving him the Prowl Prowler's Helm and passes. Turn 9. Cedrus draws 2 and takes 2, then plays a Ravenous Chupacabra, targeting the Mind Razor. But Nekuzar reacts with Arcane Denial to save the Mind Razor. Cedrus then moves to combat and swings a Skullbriar for lethal, and Nekuzar for his first damage this game. Nekuzar takes it, but Skullbriar is unable to block, so he cleans it up. He then victimizes his Kozilek to bring back Ravenous Chupacabra and Shriek Maw that should have been in exile to destroy both Split Current and Mind Razor. Mm -hmm. 
Nekazar starts his turn with a Blood Chief Ascension, then with nothing better to do, continues to pay the tax to get Mind Razor back out and passes. It then moves to Verizal, where he draws two and takes two, then plays Simic Ascendancy for an alternative win condition. He brings out Verizal, again gaining 12 counters on both and passes. Turn 10. Cedrus draws two and takes two, then brings back Kozlik with Unearth. He plays a careful study to get Molten Primordial Graveyard. Nekuzar once again forgetting his Waste Knot trigger. Cedrus then plays a Dark Ritual and uses the mana to unearth Molten Primordial. Stealing all of the commanders. He then plays a Combustible Gear Hulk, drawing three cards then swings out with everyone and closes out the game. Now I'm already copying MTG Mudstuds format, so I might as well throw in a game review. So Cedrus had a healthy opening hand, allowing him to get the right cards to the graveyard, and really was able to take control of the game with the early Kozilek and large hand sizes that Nekazar provided the table. Nekazar had a lot of mana, but was never allowed to live long enough to see the next turn for any massive hand draw plays. Skullbriar picked the right board to target, but was filthy with ways to get past blockers, but unlucky in getting many cards to boost his damage output, or maybe the lifelink could have saved him. Verizal wasn't able to have too much effect on the game, and might have tunnel vision towards the end on winning with commander damage. I didn't realize when playing the game how many mistakes and misplays there were that might have led to a different outcome. Next star was a constant threat of OTK and the entire board, and Verizal would have killed Cedrus if he attacked him with a winged gecko, so it really could have been anyone's game. And don't worry about my mental state, I'm aware I'm playing against myself, it's just due to my lack of friends. Also apologies for the audio slash vocal quality, I'm incapable of displaying emotions or reading more than one sentence from a script without tripping over my words. But maybe I'll see if I can fix any of that if I make another video. Thanks for watching.